the COVID-19 crisis is hitting young people harder than any other group in society. Yes, young people are more likely to recover from the virus itself, but they are the first to be hit by the economic crisis. Some of them have been furloughed, many are struggling to find meaningful work experience, and that is impacting their confidence and their long-term career prospects. One in six young people are now out of work globally, and 1.5 billion children were out of school during the worst of the pandemic. If we do not take action now, urgently, to improve their situation, the legacy of this virus will be with us for generations. I first started working with the Princess Trust back in 2012 because of my desire to help young people, something that I care deeply about and something that I think about often, particularly as the father of two young people. Young people of today will shape the future of our society, hopefully a more prosperous and a more tolerant one. Over the years, I've seen incredible examples of young people overcoming difficult circumstances. And with the support of the trust, they've been able to succeed on their own merits. And this is really important. This is about creating opportunities and giving them a hand up rather than a hand out. This is the true sense of meritocracy. One of those remarkable young people is Glory Augusto, who I met in 2014. He was raised by a single parent in a council estate, and Glory overcame all the stereotypes associated with a young black man, and he graduated from university. But still, he was struggling to find a job. He joined HSBC through the Prince's Trust Get Into Scheme as a customer service officer in the Mayfair branch. And I remember perfectly our first conversation when he told me really proudly that he was wearing the HSBC's uniform for the first time. We have kept in touch over the last six years, and I've watched him proudly as he has progressed quickly through the organization, and, and I'm looking forward to everything he's going to achieve and his future success. Meeting Glory and many, many other young people made me want to become a trustee. And I became a trustee of Princess Trust International, the overseas arm of the Princess Trust, which was founded back in 2015. PTI, Princess Trust International, has an incredible track record of delivery, working with local partners in 13 countries around the world. This is to help young people re-engage with education, start their careers, and build their own businesses. It has reached over 16,000 young people since its start, and two-thirds of those, this is really important, have successfully moved into work, education, or training since 2018. PTI's work is even more important today in the middle of this crisis. We, collectively, have a responsibility as a society not to fail these young people. I've been impressed by the agility of the organization during this crisis, really rapidly adapting their digital delivery to reach more young people. This is not about funding an organization to survive during a crisis, but to thrive and to develop and reach more young people. So PTI has launched a response and recovery appeal. We need to raise five million pounds this year to deliver support to over 10,000 young people across Africa, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and the Caribbean. Over the coming months and years, many, many more young people will struggle. They need us now more than ever to invest in their future. We cannot leave them behind. Please support Princess Trust International Appeal and help us build futures for young people worldwide. Thank you.